Hey everyone, this is Tony's Deuces Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to update PHP to pretty much any version that you want to on Ubuntu. Now, I wanna make a distinction here right off the bat that we're not necessarily going to be updating PHP, but rather we're gonna be installing a new version of PHP alongside of whatever version of PHP is installed in your system right now. And the reason for this is because there are probably other applications, packages, whatever, that depend on that version of PHP. And if you would change that or update that version that you have installed right now, then you would have to take care of updating those packages as well. And it just gets to be a big mess of um, you know managing all of those dependencies. So in order to simplify that process, what we have to do if you do require a new version of PHP on your system is to simply install a, a, a new version alongside of the original version. Um, so that's what I'm gonna show you in this tutorial video. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. Um, I have an Ubuntu server here, 20.04. And right now I have one version of PHP installed and that's the version of PHP that um, is recommended by the system. So if, if you already have PHP installed and you try to do something like, uh, well, let me just show, First, let me show you what version of PHP we have. So if we do PHP dash dash version, we have PHP version 7.4.3. Now, if we uh, do something like apt install PHP, we will be told that we already have the newest version of PHP. If we do something like apt install PHP 7.4, same thing. We already have the, the version of PHP that Ubuntu recommends you have. Now, if we try to do something like PHP, apt install PHP 8.0, uh, we will say that it doesn't know anything about PHP 8.0. And if we try something like a, an older version, PHP 7.3, can't find that either. So at this point, Ubuntu only um, knows about one version of PHP, and that's the version that we have installed. And that's the version that, if you don't have it installed right now, you can get with apt install PHP. Now, what if we want to do another version? Let's try to do version 8.0. So in order to do that, we would do uh, we would have to tell Ubuntu that there's other software packages available other than what you're currently looking at right now. So we can add a new repository. And in order to do that, we can do um, apt install uh, software. And this is optional. Properties common, you might not need to execute this command. Um, as you can see here, I already have uh, that that uh, good to go. So we'll just go through the process of um, setting that up. And, and what this does is make sure that you have the add, add apt repository command. And what we want to do, the repository that we want to add is ppa colon andre, O-N-D-R-E, j uh, forward slash php and this is going to like i said tell ubuntu we'll hit enter to confirm this tell ubuntu that there are other versions of php out there that we can install so um, then when we use our package manager apt in this case we can go ahead and install one of those new versions of php so let's try that let's do uh we'll, we'll start with an older version of php apt install php 7.3 and now that will work that command. So we can type Y hit enter for that to uh, install. And that'll take just a few seconds for it to install into our system. And when that's finished, <clears throat> excuse me, when that's finished, we will do the same thing, but with a new version of PHP. Um, and then after that, I'll show you how to switch between what version of PHP you wanna use. So uh, when that's finished, let's go ahead and do a sudo apt uh, install PHP 8.0. Um, so we'll do that one more time. And because that did take 20 megabytes of space, because that did take uh, longer than expected, I'll pause the video and catch up with you when this finishes. Okay guys, so at this point we have three versions of PHP installed on our system. We have 7.3, 7.4, and 8.0. So now let me show you how we can, uh, from a system perspective, work with those multiple different versions of PHP. So again, let's confirm uh, which where PHP is installed with which PHP. So it's installed at user bin PHP, and if we do PHP dash dash version, that is uh, now version 8.0 uh, since we installed that. So um, let's take a look at ls-la, the user bin PHP uh, uh, file. And you'll see that that's a link from user bin PHP to etc alternatives PHP. So let's look at that. ls etc alternatives PHP. 
And that is again, another link from there to user bin PHP 8.0. So as you can see, the system is using this version of PHP and it's doing one, two levels of redirects to our links to um, user bin PHP 8.0. So if we do LS uh, user bin PHP star, you'll see that we have all of our different versions of PHP installed in here. So you can reference them directly, um, but again, from a system perspective, if we wanted to change what version of PHP the system is using, we can use the update alternatives command um, to, to be able to switch between them. So if we do update alternatives dash dash get selections, we'll see that there's a whole bunch of different um, programs that we have installed where you can potentially have multiple different versions of that program installed. So here we have PHP is one of those options. So we can do uh, something similar, update alternatives dash dash config PHP. And this is showing us that we have these options. So right now we have selected for our system PHP 8.0. Uh, let's switch back to the low the 7.3 version here so we can type in one hit enter and now if we do uh, PHP dash dash version we'll see that we are running from a system perspective PHP 7.3 same thing if you want to up update the system to PHP version 8.0 we can come back in here and change that uh, we can either go to the auto mode with option zero or the manual mode with option three so let's do three and now if we do PHP dash dash version, we'll see that we are running 8.0 one more time. Guys, I hope that made sense. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you guys for watching this video. I have more PHP videos over here, so check those out as well. And if you do, I will see you in the next one.